Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today I'm going to be showing you a haul from my local thrift store and from Hobby Lobby. Here in Utah we have Deseret Industries, which is a thrift store that has amazing finds. Sometimes it could be pricey and sometimes you can get amazing stuff like I did today. Okay, so we're going to start with Hobby Lobby. Zeb's going to insert the picture here. This picture shows you what the 4th of July stuff is like that they have there. It's glittered, sequined, and covered in tulle and sparkly and bright. And since I mostly do farmhouse, I was like, I can't use any of that. So I kind of went around to try to find something to help me with my table. So what I found was this adorable three-tier tray. It retails for $59.99. And this week at my Hobby Lobby, it was half off. So I got this for 30 bucks. And I would say it's a good two and a half feet tall. So it's pretty big. And I also purchased, their paper mache was half off, so I got these three paper mache stars, a large one, and then I got these two little ones. And I'm gonna paint them navy blue, and then they will go right in here. And then, to fill in the bottom and the top to make it red, white, and blue, I'm gonna be adding uh, red apples, because I thought that would be something that would be useful. And then I'm going to have apples on the bottom and the top tier, and with these being painted navy blue, I'll have my red, white, and blue without the lovely, um, without all the lovely glitter and tulle and sequins that Hobby Lobby had to offer. And later on this week, I will be doing my um, 4th of July tour of my house, so you can kind of see how I add that red, white, and blue Americana in with my farmhouse decor. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby today. These were, this was $3.99 for the big star and the small stars were $1.49 and they were half off. So they were half off of that. So it was a great deal. I think for like $33 I got this and all these. Maybe it was $34, I can't remember. But it was a super good deal. So there's my Hobby Lobby haul. And then I hit the jackpot at DI and I scored this hutch. I don't, I haven't picked it up. So there's a picture that Zeb will show you what it looks like. I love that hutch because it's got great detail. It's two pieces. It's gonna look amazing when it was done. When, sorry, when it is done. And it was $45, which is a steal for a hutch. So that was one of the things I picked up at DI. I also picked up these two white farmhouse looking chairs. In my retail shop, I have a little table with no chairs. And these are the perfect size and detail. So I'm gonna clean them, give them a fresh coat of white chalk paint, distress them, and seal them. And if you want to see what they look like with my table, be sure to go to my Facebook page. I'll have a live video later today of everything that's for sale at my retail shop. Um, the next thing that I thrifted was this. And you're like, oh, that's kind of dumb. What's so exciting about that? I bought it just for the hooks. These hooks are anywhere from three to $5 a piece at the store. And I got this entire thing for $3. So if you do the math, I've got at least $15 worth of hooks here. So I can use them for another project later on and I have one in mind, so we're good. So the next thing I found is this ginormous shelf. It was $5. It's got this weird black in the back. Uh, it's not really my style. So this will get a new fresh coat of paint and it will be on a video. We're gonna be doing the $5 Goodwill challenge. So be sure to see what happens to this. It's gonna get a fresh new look and I've got a perfect spot for it in my house. My very last thrifted item I'm super excited about because these are kind of hard to find and I will be fixing it up to resell. It was $15 and from the outside it doesn't look super great, but I love the beaded detail on the bottom. It's got a curved bottom here and then it's got the dental molding across the top and painted that is all gonna pop. The top is kind of roach, so we'll go ahead and plank that. We have tons of videos showing you how to plank top, so Look under our videos if you'd like to know how to do that. And then look at the inside, it is pristine. It's a vintage Lane cedar chest. If you could smell this, if you had aroma vision, it's heavenly. So once this is done, somebody is going to be getting an amazing chest with great storage that still has the great cedar scent. And it's gonna be so darling. I can't wait to get this finished up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul video with my Hobby Lobby and thrifted finds. Be sure to like us, give us a thumbs up, and I have a few things for you. One, be sure to be looking out for our next video, which is going to be a tour of our house showing how I incorporate the 4th of July and my farmhouse style. 
also, we're gonna be doing a live Q&A with Zeb and I, so if you have questions that you'd like for us to answer live on camera, please comment below or PM me on Facebook. We're gonna be accumulating those, and about two or three weeks, we'll go live and answer all the questions that you guys have about DIY, working with a spouse, chalk paint, milk paint, and all the in-between. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.